The question I have for you, my brothers and sisters, Africa remains the richest continent on earth. In spite of many centuries of exploitation, the colonizers have only taken maybe 10% of Africa's natural resources. There's still plenty of natural resources that belong to you and I. Every day we are discovering more and more natural resources in our beloved Africa. Here is the reality on the ground. Come next year, the question I have for you children of Africa, there is a seed that has your name. If you do not occupy that seat, others will occupy that seat for you. For you to stop asking the question, why is it that the Chinese are getting the contracts to build Africa? Well, they're getting the contracts because you are missing in action. Because you are not available to take over that contract. The reality is, the Cape to Cairo Highway is going to be built. The Senegal to Djibouti High Speed Rail is going to be built. And highways everywhere in between. New cities are going to be built. Ports are going to be built. The question is, by who? That is your inheritance. The continent, which, has, which is producing 50% of the world gold, the continent which produces the largest amounts of platinum in the world, the continent which is the second largest producer of diamonds, the continent with over 65% of the arable land in the world, the continent which is the largest producer of coltan, I can go on and on and on, is your continent. They are ready to come take everything that's on the continent. The African heads of states are saying, Ambassador, let the children of Africa in the diaspora know that they must come home. They must come and take what belongs to them. You see, the white people are going to Africa poor and they come back rich. The African heads of states are saying, there's nothing wrong with the children of Africa. Coming home to Africa, investing in Africa, come home poor, and also, Leave your Africa rich. Go back to the United States. Go back to Europe and play golf just like they do while your money is working for you in Africa. The time is now, my brothers and sisters. We do not have time to waste. We do not have time to continue to self-hate. We do not have time to continue to distrust each other. I am here to let you know that Africa if we do not come together this time, it's going to be gone for good. The choice is yours. Are we going to come together and speak with one voice? Or will we continue to allow the legacy of slavery and the legacy of colonization to continue to win to our detriment and to their benefit? The choice is yours.